Alright, yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 70 GH. It's always a great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying. Now, Ghana Black Stars um, coach Otuado is set to meet Ghana Football Association tomorrow, the 26th of um, November 2024, to discuss about the African Cup of Nations qualifiers, why Ghana couldn't qualify. They will get his report on the Ghana Black Stars failure to qualify for the AFCON. And a decision will be made on Coach Otuado whether to sack him, whether to maintain him, or what exactly should be taken. We are looking forward to tomorrow. But I just want to give my the overview of what we should expect tomorrow and how things are likely to go. All right, yes, yeah, subscribe to the channel now. Um, we know that last week on Wednesday, last week Wednesday, the GFA Executive Committee had an emergency meeting to discuss about the Black Stars failure to qualify for the AFCON 2024. The, um, the main topic on the table was whether Otuado should be sacked or not. Now, the Executive Committee was split, uh, split into two. Um, a section wanted <coughs> Coach Otuado to be sacked Another section wanted Coach Otuado to be maintained. The Football Association president, Ket Okreku, didn't rule on that particular decision and wanted to have the report of, 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 of Coach Otuado before a decision will be made. So they slated um, tomorrow to be the day that that particular meeting will come on. Otuado will bring his report and then a full decision will be made. Now, what to expect is that but the things we are hearing, no, the two camps will still be the same. Um, the camp that wants Otuado to be sacked will still be there, and the camp that wants Otuado to be maintained will still be there. So the two camp, nothing will change. They will be, they will remain, all right, the same. And then Otuado will present his this thing, his reports. Don't expect the gfa president to go to or to agree with the camp that wants otuado to be sacked don't expect that me my expectation and what i'm i'm getting is that the gfa president will be with the camp or will align with the camp no matter the report of otuado unless otuado himself wants to resign unless otuado wants to resign uh, the GFA president is not going to support those people who want to, the coach to be sacked. That's, that's, that's what's coming. They want to give him another chance to coach the Black Stars through the World Cup qualifiers. And for the World Cup qualifiers, yeah, if Otuado fails to qualify for the World Cup 20, he'll be sacked. That one there yeah, is non-brainer. So the GFA president will align with the people who do not want Otuado to be sacked. That is the, that's, that's, that's basically what's going to happen tomorrow. And Otuado's report there is going to be the normal report now. Now, what to tell you that the GFA, okay, the proof to show you that the GFA president is going to align with those who do not want Otuado to be sacked is that the GFA, the association, didn't request for the report of Chris Usin before they sacked him. No, no, no. They didn't request for his report. Yeah. Uh, right after the African Cup of Nations, when a lot of Ghanaians were mad, a lot of Ghanaians were saying the coach should be sacked. They sacked him. They didn't request for any report. And this time, they are requesting for the Otuado's report because they don't know. No, they don't want him to be sacked. That's, 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 the, that's the proof to tell you that these people, they do not want Otuado to be sacked. Do you get a point? So that one there, the GFA president, in fact, the other reason why the GFA president will not want Otuado to be sacked is that the president single-handedly brought Otuado back, according to various reports. The committee that was selected to elect a new coach for the Ghana Black Stars went for Mark Brice um, of Cameroon. He was the main um, coach selected by the committee. He was going to be the next Black Stars coach. And then the GFA president said, that, no, he doesn't like that coach. Then he said they should interview coach Otuado. So the GFA president single-handedly brought coach Otuado that the committee should interview him and then after he was interviewed they said that oh he's the best among those interviewers so there is no more mark brace they should appoint Otuado and the GFA president convinced Otuado to leave his job at Dortmund and become a full-time coach for the Black Stars of Ghana so if you've allowed you've convinced me to leave my job in Dortmund and then I became the full-time coach in March 
from March to this time, just about few months, eight months or so, you are saying as you, you are sacking me. That would be a big, big, big issue for the GFA president to sack Otuado. So that is also another reason why the president cannot sack Otuado. And that's the truth. Because you've allowed, you've told me to leave my job at Dortmund and now to take the, the Ghana football, um, the Ghana Black Stars job on a permanent basis. I've done that. And now, just after a first failure, you are leaving me to dry. You are leaving me to um, uh, the Guardians. That would be some way. So the GFA president would want to back Otuado. So the, the meeting now will be coming on tomorrow. It's just a formality. It's just a formality. Don't expect anything serious. Don't expect Otuado to be sacked. Don't expect any serious changes. But the GFA, I'm giving you a, 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 an advice. It's a free of charge. Even if you will keep Otuado, because me, I've said that you should sack him. There is no coach that should survive this thing. If we do that, we are telling Otuado that we are, not a, we are not a serious football nation. We are not. Because if you are a serious football nation, and as Ghana, what we want from African competition is that we will win the tournament. If we go to the AFCON and we reach quarterfinals, round of 16, semifinals, it's a failure in the books of any coach. Because we are Ghana and we want to win the AFCON. The Nigerian coach, Pesero, he went to the finals of the AFCON last time and couldn't win the AFCON. He resigned, didn't do the job again. Because you are, if you're a Nigerian coach, you're supposed to win the AFCON. If you're a Moroccan coach, win the AFCON, go to the World Cup, do very well. Same as Egypt and the rest. So if we are Ghana, we are Ghana. Uh, the minimum requirement for an African, for a coach, is to qualify for the AFCON. That's the minimum requirement. So if you are unable to, um, you are unable to qualify for the AFCON, we don't say that, oh, we've been appointing coaches and this and that, so we cannot sack him and all. Those things are, I, I don't even understand. You failed the barest minimum of requirements. Wow. You failed the barest minimum of requirements. So you have to be sad. That is, that is the same. <laughs> This one here. Yeah. So if the GFA, you are not ready to sack him, change the backroom staff for him. This is a non-negotiable thing. If Otuado still remains as the Black Stars coach with the same backroom staff, John Pinto and Malman and those people, we are going to be failing big time. We cannot give that, that <laughs> freedom. To him that he should have job. we should appoint a competent and experienced managers to be deputy to him that is non-negotiable so if you not listen to me that you should sack him and you want to keep him the backroom staff is non-negotiable he all of them have to go john pencil and laman those people they have to go appoint a a competent coach that can read games that is a tactically astute can help Otuado to manage the players, to manage the dressing room. If you don't do that and you still keep these people there, they are. Yes, I'm Massa people. Massa, M4, Black Stars, M4. Mobile Trent Trials are the World Cup qualifiers. We may not qualify, I'm telling you the truth. Because people think that, oh, World Cup qualifiers, we are in a poor position. And yes, we are in a poor position. Because the next time you are playing World Cup qualifiers, we will be playing versus Chad, home and away. We, we should take six points from them. But don't forget that Mali are still in contention. They have five points currently. We have nine points. Um, Comoros is having nine points. Comoros are doing very, very well. So if with the slightest of slip, we are going to fail, we will fail to qualify for the World Cup. So if you guys don't take this thing serious, yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Either you sack the manager together with his backroom staff, or you maintain the manager and sack his backroom staff. As simple as that. Thank you very much for staying with us. Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section of the video. Like the video, hit the notification bell, and select all. Definitely, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.